We are live. We are live. I'm Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech. And I'm Revenue GS. I'm Joe, one third of the Cybernets. And welcome to another movie review. The only place where your host will sit through here, talk about the movie, but he fell asleep in the movies. Martin. And today we have Glass. So, how's everybody doing today? Shattered. <coughs> I see you. I see you. But you don't do no work, so you shouldn't be shattered anyway. So. I'm, I'm alright, man. I'm good. good. I'm good, good man. yeah. I'm chilling, man. Ready I'm for fine. another. I'm feeling, like rage. Of, I'm feeling like the man is still. I'm feeling unbreakable. Like that see. just means you've got split personality, so. <laughs> <laughs> Smart for you, still. <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, uh, like split, split is my favourite out of the three. Mm. So it does make sense. But let's get on with this. So this is a drama fantasy slash superhero. Mm. Uh, so directed by M Night. Uh, I'm not gonna say the last Shama name because you know I might not want to get roasted. And duh, 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 so the cast: James McAvoy, Bruce Willis, Anya Taylor Joy, uh, Sarah Polison. Paulson. Paulson. Samuel L. Jackson. <coughs> Gotta say his name while shouting. And um, yeah, this movie was released in January 12th in Alamo and came out sometime we watched last week. Yeah, so uh, 13th, 12th, 13th, something like that. Uh, was it a cinema old screening? Yeah, Unlimited. Yeah, Unlimited. Shout out to Team Unlimited. Right. And screening and then release day the next yeah, day <laughs> because they gave it to us the unlimited screening is the release day in America so we got unlimited screening and then they got released in the UK the next wow. day calm so synopsis I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible M. Night uh, brings together the narratives of two of the standard originals 2000's Unbreakable from uh, Touchstone and 2016's Split and pretty much it like we don't I'll let these two to the talking. So, story. Joe. I don't like the story in this. I do it, I do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, basically, the story is that um, uh, Bruce Willis's character, who um, is found out to be a very strong individual in the movie Unbreakable, is on the hunt for James McAvoy's character, um, from the movie Split, they meet in uh, in in Mr. Glass, and they get incarcerated. Um, Samuel L. Jackson's character, Mr. Glass, has already been incarcerated from the movie Unbreakable, and there is a doctor who is trying to persuade them they are that they're actually not superheroes; they are just regular people who believe they're superheroes. That's the story. Um, and what's crazy about it is, on face value, sounds good. And I like it, but I feel like the execution and where they take it in the movie, I didn't like at all. I thought it was a bit drawn out and it got like pretty boring at times. So. Hence why I was asleep? I mean, I'm not gonna say that's why you was asleep. You could have been asleep because you was up editing till 5 a.m. Do you know what I'm saying? Or you could have been asleep because it was boring. So I'll let you. I Tell know. them why you was I asleep. I didn't even know why I was asleep. I just, I, I just, all I remember is just waking up about ten times, and I just couldn't keep up. But right. Sam, tell us about the story. Uh, story, I, I liked at the beginning, like the way they kind of, um, like you said, Bruce Willis was like this overseer hero, helping like people out there and whatever, and then he is trying to like do good with his powers, and then from there it just kind of just dwindles down to like. <clears throat> story makes less and less sense the movie goes on and I just didn't like it by the end of it to be honest um, the way these three characters meet up like the, the, just the whole subplot main story I, could, I can't dive into it too much because it goes into spoiler territory but it makes less and less sense the more and more they speak the story was a bit just all over the place yes. do you know what I'm saying the character that ties them together a bit all over the place makes, that makes little sense too right even the, the the characters they bring in as sidekicks to our three main characters pointless absolutely wasted why what 
Nah, so, like. M Sh- I'm never I'm like M Night Shyamalan is back to his old ways, isn't it? No, 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 no. I'm not going that. Did deep. you write this? Yeah, you did. Yeah, Brother, I'm not going. I'm not going that deep on the movie. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going that deep. To if say you wrote that, this, it says a lot. Bro, it says a lot. Alright, let's go. Let's go on to the next thing. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, so acting. Alright, can I just can I just say for the only thing I remember it? Bro, yeah, go on, go on, go on. split. Like right at the beginning, oh. bro. He up the levels with the, with the whole characters. Jay McAvoy went nuts, bro. Like mm. from what I can remember, I was spazzing out, and that's all I gotta say about that. And that's the only thing I'll say. Not the only thing I wanna say, but like the acting overall is fine in it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? James McAvoy is the standout. Do you know what I'm saying? But he's the standout because pay attention. he's no, he's the standout because he's got the most to do. He plays. 24 characters do you know what I'm saying he's got an advantage do you know what I'm saying he's got 24 characters who have 24 different sets of dialogue and he portrays them amazingly so a question is it fair to say that he's up the level like with from, the characters from, from Split because mm. from, from what I can remember like, I, do you guys remember I was spazzing that when yeah. he was like right at the beginning I don't I, I, think, it's this, I think it's the same scale yeah. like he portrays them so well yeah. going in and out there's a certain scene I'm like, how are you doing that? See, and, and that's the thing that gets upped. Yeah. No, not his portrayal of them. His portrayal of them is the same. Mm-hmm. It's the way they use it. Do you know what I'm saying? And even like, the transformation. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we, that's, never, we that's, never had that. And I'm saying, I'm... That's, and that's what's better. I'm the, going the, mad. the transformation, the switch, boom, 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 boom. That's, that's the best thing. I want to talk about Bruce Willis here because... Mm-hmm. He's your favourite. He's my favourite. Mm-hmm. And of the three movies... Unbreakable is still my favourite. And I feel like they just relegate man to doing nothing in this movie, fam. Just like, he does nothing, pretty much says nothing. He's just like walking around in a, in his, in a trench coat, fam. Like, the whole, like. So he just became an icon, like, with that, he's just, that, that trench coat. That look. Yeah, that look. He, I mean, he was that from the first movie. Well, obviously, from his job, his day job, yeah. Yeah, but, like, I just, man, I felt like they didn't use him. And I thought Samuel Jackson was oh, good. I was going to... What? I th- well, I thought... You saw Samuel- my relegation. Anyone that got relegated is Samuel L. No, 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 no. no. Freaking, uh, what did they call They did whatever to him for the whole movie. And they then, bottomized him. Yeah. And then only the third act or whatever, or whatever act he like, wants to do. Whatever. I'm like, we've got Samuel L. Yeah? And you want to do the least. Because he just stuck to a wheelchair or because you can't walk or whatever. I'm like, nah, this See, man wrong. And, and, and this is where I disagree because... Uh, McAvoy had the most to do mm. Bruce Willis had the least to do mm. and Samuel L falls right bang in the middle yeah I hear what you're saying that for half of the movie he's doing nothing but then he then comes to life Bruce Willis is dead the whole movie yeah, do you know what I'm saying so I feel like as soon as he turns on and even a little bit before he, when he's still off he's you, you know sick things are ticking do you mm. know what I'm saying his character has a depth to him where Bruce Willis' character has no depth. The um, character played by uh, Annie Taylor-Joy, um, the Doctor. No, I think that's... Oh, sorry, is that Sarah Paulson? Sorry, Sarah Paulson's Paulson. character, the Doctor, flat, with, like, every other character is just, just, yeah. just bog-standard and, and, and dry. Yeah, I thought Samuel was a bit wasted. Like you're saying, like, you want... Like, instead of doing um, parts where they would show you, oh, he did this here or did this here or whatever... They just waited till a certain arc in the movie before everything just kind of unfolds. I'm like, really? So, get to production, because that's what you're touching on now. All right, right. go on, go on. Come on. So Come production on. with levels, the thing I like about this the most is that it's very atmospheric with the music. The music is always on point. I like that the most. But it's just mm, pacing, very, very off. Like, the first act... Super lit. I was like, whoa, is this where they're going to start? All right, cool. And like I said before, and I'll say it again, this went downhill from there. And I'm like, where where did you like, go with this? Like, you was going off so strong, and then you just kind of just dwindled off. It's like you either ran out of ideas, didn't know what to take this. And like I was saying, um, uh, script-wise, it was okay. Everyone just delivered all right, but then the writing of the actual story, subpar. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you 100%. Like, I think... The colour, like the colour scheme of the movie, it looks very pretty. Like visuals are very nice. Music is very good. But <coughs> the script 
is a bit weak. It's kind of terrible. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's not. Maybe terrible is too strong, but it's not compelling. Mm. It's not as compelling as Split or Unbreakable. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just like I had to do this when I would have preferred personally just take another ten years and do Glass when Glass is supposed to come out as as instead of I've got to capitalize on the the reveal at the end of Glass the next like within two years so I uh, I was really I was really really let down man I was really let down because obviously I was saying before if this movie's lit this is this goes in this goes in the history books one of the best superhero trilogies ever fam and this to me is so bad not bad but like it so doesn't live up to expectations that this just becomes like some, just some good just just three good movies do you know what I'm saying? Wow. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, that's, just, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, that, that's, and that's, and that, that's what I feel. That's what, that's how I feel. But, uh, oh, let's... Cool. All right, on to general thoughts. Do you want to go first? Okay, yeah, general thoughts. Um, if you've seen the other two movies, I still say go watch this. You still might enjoy it. It's, it's an okay time, but at the same time, oh, my Lord. Like, they could have taken it in another direction completely. Com- like, that's just that whole third act just ruined everything for me. If, there, if it was a better third act, that would have been better. The whole three, three other characters, don't include them. Like, they were, like, super unnecessary, the way they tried to include each, like, I don't know, would you call them sub-characters for each main character, so to yeah. speak? Sidekicks, innit? Yeah, and then uh, a whole, the whole reveal as well, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, my general thoughts is, if you've seen Unbreakable, but haven't seen Glass and uh, um, Split and Glass, don't watch them. If you've seen Glass and, I mean, if you've seen Split and really like it, watch Glass. Do you get what I'm saying? I feel like these two movies, because McAvoy, if you like Glass, you might like this because of McAvoy carries the thing. Do you know what I'm saying? But if Unbreakable, like me, is your favourite, just, just stay yeah, there just keep, keep just that, keep that and don't get it like, do you know what I'm saying? Don't worry down. Because me personally, I didn't love Split. I thought Split was all right. I think McAvoy goes hard in the movie, but, Generally, I didn't like it. Do you know what Ooh. I'm saying? Because of, I don't know if this is the time to talk about it, but if... The whole superhero the whole thing. Super, the whole superhero right. thing. As, as soon as... And this is what I really wanted from Glass. I wanted Glass to show that they actually wasn't superheroes. Mm. I thought that would have been the latest thing ever. Mm-hmm. Do you know, instead of going the other way where it doubles down on what it was doing. Even though in our trailer reactions, I said they have to double down one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. It is like Sam said. It is a. It's a good movie. It's all right. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can enjoy yourself. It's not terrible or anything like that, man. I, mm. Mm. And with that said, our official uh, what is it rate is a two point five. This movie is calm, suave. Mm, all them things there that it's calm, man. other movies just were a lot more, a lot more, it's calm. and wasn't calm. But let us know what uh, your general thoughts on this movie. Did you like it? Did you didn't like it? Did you fall asleep? Is Split your number one? Is Unbreakable your number one? Is Glass your number one? I'm I'm going to be really interested to see what the comments say about like which movie is their favourite. I'm, right. I'm very, very... I'm, I'm in them. I'm in the And view. also, what character do you fit in? Are you Mr. Glass? Are you Mr. Unbreakable? Or are you a bit of everything? I'm Raven your GS. I'm Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech. I'm Joe One Further the Silence. And we'll see you next year. Peace. Hey guys, it's me, Joe One Further the Cyber Nerds. Appreciate you watching the last video. Check another one out here. Or here. Or just go ahead and sign up to Patreon right now. Just, just, just do that thing. Anyway, catch you on the next video. Peace.